everybody, I'm Zara McQueen and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a highly requested, long-awaited, what's in my bag video. Um, I had filmed this before, but like that day that I recorded it, just nothing was going right. Um, my camera died. I didn't have any more space. I was looking crazy. So you know, why not do when I'm looking good? Face is beat, outfit is fresh. So let's just get right into it. So the bag that I have is this MCM, I think this is the medium size one, I don't remember honestly, um, tote, it's reversible, so I actually have it on the other side, this side is like the cloth part with the nice pattern on it, and the other side is the classic, you know, MCM design, just looks like this, um, it's reversible, I really love it because of that, and it fits so much things in it, um, I like the the way it falls and I like all of that um, I didn't want to get the regular MCM bag that everybody has because you know this pattern is a little better whatever and I just like the black handles because I love black and it's just cute okay so um, for more information about this bag I'll put it down below if you guys are interested so yeah let's get started so when you first reach into my bag um, I have my wallet which is always so heavy because it always has so much change in it. Then we have a lint roller because you always need a lint roller. And especially at work, my pants are black and I have two dogs. And I feel like in the house, no dog hair. As soon as I walk out, loads of it. So you know I have to keep that. Um, I have these shades that you guys seen in my Beautycon BFF video. I love them. They're really cute when I keep them with me. Then I have, you know, your typical Apple headphones because I have to listen to music all the time, you know, just in case wherever I go. Then I have a charger because you never know when you're going to need it. And my phone is always dead, I feel like. Then I have my portable, portable Mophie charging case. Looks like this. It's fully charged up, ready to go. You know, very convenient. Then I have a um, another portable charger. It's the one that you put your USB in. Then I have a pair of socks. You know, never know when you need some socks. Um, I have my keys and I have a pen. Um, I, just, I always keep a pen in my bag just because you never know. And at work, since sometimes I have to write like on the paperwork. Um, they used to be still in pens and I don't have time for that so I have to keep a pen and especially um, when I was taking my college courses I kept a pen with me because you know me to write. Then I have a random Jolly Ranger. I don't know what that's doing in there. Then I have my eyeglasses case. You guys were asking me where I got my glasses on. Where did I get my glasses that I had on in my um my first time driving video? They're Ray-Bans so I got them from my um, eye doctor because I really, they're med like it's medicine and I have to see. And I either switch between these or um, another frame. These. Those are my two seeing glasses. Like, those are not for trend. I really need them to see. Like, a lot of people, even in real life and in school, when I first got those frames, they was like, do you need them? Or is it for fashion? I need them. Like, I need to see. <laughs> I'm getting contact soon, though, hopefully. Then I have two scrunchies. Um, yeah, that's that. Cause at work I like to keep my hair up like this on a ponytail, especially when I have in 24 inches. Then I have this big thing of extreme wet line styling gel, extreme baby. Look at that, extreme hold. It's not a game out here. I use it on my edges, and um, when I didn't have a weave in, and I always wanted to like put my hair up or something, my hair nothing ever laid my hair. Edge control didn't work. Black gel nothing like my hair just always curled up and this even curls my hair up too but not as fast like with the edge control and other types of edge control as soon as i put it on my edges would just curl up with this at least it lays it a little and then maybe throughout the day i'm gonna have to reapply it to slick it again but it doesn't immediately curl it up so that's what i like so i got my local beauty supply store and it smells so good it smells so good. You guys are probably wondering, like, why does she have this big thing? Because, babe, you never know. You have to keep your edges laid. Like, you never know. Um. Alright, so that's pretty much it for that. But then you get my beautiful makeup case. It really looks full now. And I have no idea why it's so full. 
because when I go out, say I have on makeup for the night, I will bring like my foundation, a brush, and the lipstick I wore, an eyeshadow, just because I have to touch up. But I haven't worn makeup going out in so long, but you know, for every day, you never know what you might need, you might need to touch up. So let's go through this, because this is like a what's in my makeup bag video in itself, but I'm going to throw it in here, okay? So it's this regular Lily Pulitzer Claire makeup bag. Um... So when you first go in, you have my eyelash glue. A lot of you guys were asking about this glue with my Get Ready With Me video in the, with the curls. And it's hair glue, but it's really, I really use it for my eyelashes because it lasts all day. With eyelash glue in the middle of the day, my eyelash is hanging off with this. It's all day. Um, it is safe to use. I'm good. My eyelashes are still intact. So, yeah. Then I have another edge control. This, I like the way it smells, but it does curl my hair up, so that's that. Then I have the toothbrush to lay my edges down. Hello, don't act like you don't use a toothbrush either. It's so easy and convenient to do it with that. Then I have this e.l.f. shimmer in gold. It comes with a little brush, but I just like used it, so it's not in there. So that's that. I actually applied some for like on my highlight i do like it and when i go out i usually put it like on my body and stuff then i have this loose color ruby kiss single shadow and this is in the color golden radiance um in my last video on the unboxing video that's what i had on in the corner of my eyes and you can get this from your beauty supply store and it was only 99 cents okay and i love it I love it just to put it on the inner corners of my eyes. Then I have this Benefits Mascara. I have a little mirror. I call this my rear view mirror because doesn't it look like in a car? Then I have this Sephora Small Shadow Brush Pro. You know, right from Sephora. It's the Sephora brand. But I really do like it. That's what I use to apply the Golden Radiance in my corners for my um, unboxing video. Then I have this 3D face creator, which I showed you guys in my eyebrow tutorial, but I don't really use it that often because I, I think it dried up a little. It's really like dry now, so I use something else to highlight with my eyebrows. Then this is what I used to highlight with my eyebrows. It's the Fawn Concealer. You've seen this in my Get Ready With Me, Out With The Girls, and my How To Highlight and Contour video, and I use that to highlight, and I use it to highlight my eyebrows. Then I have a broken e.l.f. brush, but this is a concealer brush that I use for my eyebrows. Then I have this bottle of Excedrins because I might get a headache because work stresses me out. Then I have this Island White Pineapple. Um, that's the smell. I would say flavor. That's the smell of this hand sanitizer and the cute little for Bath and Body Works. Then I have another edge control, which is the travel size, but it is running low. So... That's that. I do like this edge control, but it does turn your hair white and flakes up, and I don't really like that. But with my other edge control, none of that happens. Then, I have some baby lips. I have a pad. Ooh, I have a pad just in case Mother Nature, you know, old tissue. Another pen. I have this, um, this mini Versace perfume in yellow diamond i love it if you ever wonder what i smell like this is it okay then i have my anastasia dip brow then i have some makeup sponges then i have this ardell individual um lash glue so then sometimes i do people's lashes the individuals and i use that so it lasts forever literally then this is just some glitter that i usually use i show this in my get ready with me video then I have a cocoa butter chapstick. Then I have another sponge. I have the top to some perfume. I have a mini beauty blender, the um, green one, and it's really dirty. I think I'm gonna throw it out. Then I have some tweezers. I have like some bobby pins. I have an earring. I don't know where the other one is at. And some change. And that's pretty much it for my makeup kit when I take on the go. And that concludes my what's in my bag video. I'm so glad that I finally filmed it. So all of that, which wasn't much, is what I usually carry on a day-to-day. -day. Um, sometimes I change my bags depending on 
what I'm wearing, how I feel, what I'm carrying. So thanks for watching. Comment below what you want to see next and see you in my next video.